So then why does technology need ethics? If we're just building apps, things on our phones, what is the need for ethical use? Well, often you'll hear about a conversation on bias. So what does that mean? How do we create, quote, unbiased algorithms? Well, there's actually two kinds of bias that we talk about. So as a social scientist, but also as a data scientist, I find that when people say bias, technical people and lay people, they actually talk past each other. There's a lost in translation moment. So when I put my data scientist hat on, I think about bias. I think about a measurable, quantifiable value. So there can be bias in your data, bias in reporting. So for example, if you go to any popular website and review a product, review a restaurant, there's really only two times you review something is when you love it or when you hate it. Right? Nobody goes onto a website and says, I had a very average experience. Right? So that all leads to bias in our data. And then finally, design bias. What are we assuming this AI can do? So for example, just because I put a face on a bunch of circuits does not make it human. Are we then assuming it is human because it talks back like a performing monkey? No. Right? So there's design bias in that our knowledge of AI often as lay people is so limited, we're not really appreciating what it cannot do. And interestingly, as data scientists, we make assumptions about our data and what it is measuring, and we forget, more importantly, what we cannot measure quantitatively. But when lay people talk about bias, just the average person, if I just put on my, my social scientist hat, people think of societal bias, isms, racism, sexism, right? Um, and you know, when I give this talk to more quantitative audiences, I read that next line twice. Data is not an objective truth. It is reflective of pre-existing institutional, cultural, and social biases. So one very common thing you will hear people say is, oh, well, the data says so. But the data did not form out of a bubble. The data does not come without context. The data comes because we as people have made decisions. And I think we can all agree, people make some very dumb decisions. We are often very inconsistent. We often lie. We can just be completely wrong. Or we are socialized into a behavior that tells us to say something or report something when in reality we do something differently. So my PhD is in political science. And interestingly, if you go and you ask Americans um, if they voted in the last election, approximately 80% will tell you, yes, I voted in the last election. We actually know in reality, based on true poll numbers, that number is less than 50%. So are 30% of people lying? It's actually often also cognitive dissonance. We want to have think we voted, so we will, in our heads, think that we did, and or if somebody asks us the question, we feel like to have been a good citizen, we should have voted, so we'll just give the socially acceptable answer. 